Hello, fire signs, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, fire signs, I am here to do a collective reading for you guys. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, right? This reading is for the collective. It's not going to be for all of you, though, okay? So, please just take what does resonate, toss out what doesn't. And thank you, thank you, fire signs, for all of your support, your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything. Everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you so, so much. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys an overall energy first. Then I'm going to do Leo with this deck, right? And uh, then I'm going to do Aries with this deck. And I'm going to do Sagittarius with this deck, okay? We're just going to do it separate decks. And I'm going to spend, you know, like five minutes on, on each of your signs just to see what's going on um, for the rest of the month of, of December for you, okay? Consider it like a forecast, a mid-month, right? Anyway, okay, so um, fire signs, I feel like you guys need to, um, maybe you're even starting to already eat better, drink more water, eat more fruits, vegetables, stick to like healthy, like um, more natural foods, right? Um, I don't see any McDonald's bags in here. I don't see any Arby's wrappers in here, right? Um, yeah, I feel like you're supposed to like maybe get back to basics, the more natural stuff, you know? Um, I don't even see any meat in here. So um, fruits, veggies, breads, a lot of water, okay? Get your protein in there too. We've got an, a giant egg in here. That could be helpful. Um, a lot of eggs, right? Eggs, bread, good stuff. Nourish your body here. I feel like maybe you guys um, may need to get yourselves on a, on a healthier diet, right? Um, and balanced, yeah. It's going to help you to be emotionally balanced and mentally balanced. It's going to help you all around. Uh, I feel like the divine is just trying to put you on the straight and narrow here as far as taking care of yourself. Use your intuition. Um, when things start getting chaotic, try to intuitively balance yourself out, right? Energetically. Um, yeah, because whatever you're doing here you're about to enter into a whole new cycle you see this right this rickety rickety set of stairs here right you've got to climb up that and you're thinking to yourself do i am, am i gonna make it yeah you are you're you're gonna start seeing all of the effort that you're putting into something you're gonna start seeing um your everything paying off you're bringing your um your uh, manifestations to fruition here okay um a lot of you could have even done some powerful like manifesting during this last full moon phase um but yeah i feel like some of you may need to take this mask off though and show yourself more i'm seeing you wearing a mask here you maybe are hiding maybe you're more comfortable um, under this mask, you know, but um, I feel like you need to take that off and truly show the world and everything, everyone, what you're made of here. What are your special talents? Um, you know, maybe you feel like you're not ready yet. You've got all these great ideas just bursting here, um, ready to be abundant for you. So like, I think you just need to work on maybe your self-confidence a little bit and showing yourself. Okay. Um, but there's a new cycle that's starting here and I feel like you're sitting here contemplating on it. Maybe even taking a nice look out at all the, it's like rocky terrain that you've had to make it in order to get here. Right. You could be like standing here for a moment just to say goodbye, like your own personal goodbye to your past. Even though it was difficult, it meant a lot to you, okay? Um, maybe looking back on this journey, seeing how far you've come. But I feel like you need to make it up these stairs here and start something new. I feel like you know that too. Yeah. 
that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Anyway, try to stay, you know, keep in balance. There's a there's a cycle that's absolutely completing here with a 10. Okay? Try to stay in balance. You could feel a shake up from other people here. Um, just use your intuition, you know. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're you're saying your goodbyes here and you're gonna head up this little ladder and go into your new life it's going to be a whole new life for you where all of your efforts are going to pay off okay all right so fire signs let's get to it what do you say okay first we're going to do leo all right divine what do you have for leo yep deciding a path i feel like that was on the bottom of the deck um, deciding something here. There is a, a needing to choose a path, or somebody is having to choose between two. I feel like they've made their decision. They just need to kind of take some action here on it. Um, looking at the world in front of them, right? Uh, where they can go with what they've chosen here. Very passionate about something. But this person's been juggling. They're still juggling. They know who it is that they want. They know they've got the world with whatever it is that they want. But they're, they, I feel like they're juggling, giving to others, um, giving a lot of money out to other people. Okay. Could be dealing with the King of Pentacles here. This is um, an earth sign, but doesn't have to be. Um, it's just energy, right, guys? So this is somebody who could be a boss, business owner, um, very grounded individual, very, very stable. I feel like they have a lot of money, um, and they're providing for other people here, but this person wants to choose, a, I feel, a different path. But it's kind of like they keep juggling, like, should I, shouldn't I? You know, what will I choose? Yeah, I feel like they have two empresses here. Um, they could be like in a home situation or who, which one is going to make them the happiest? Um, one emperor, there's an empress here that could even be a mother, um, a baby's, a baby's mom. Uh, very powerful individual here. Okay. Um, I, this is um, someone who births new, new ideas. They both do. Business owner, bosses. I feel like one is extremely financially stable here. One is single. This one, I feel like um, they may be, yeah, a new baby here. They could have gotten somebody pregnant. They could have children with this person. And then I feel like this is maybe your energy here. Uh, the Empress and the Minor Arcana, but single. This is a single person. So I feel like they're with someone already who could already be pregnant or um, something here. But they're in a lot of regret. This person needs to choose and I feel like they may have two empresses, a baby's mother and some you out here, I feel, is single. Or take it however it resonates, right? You've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in a deck is ten. You've got all this money in abundance for just you. You could own your own business. You know, you, you've bossed up. Uh, this person's in a lot of regret because they turn their back on the person that they truly love here. They're in a lot of regret. They're with someone who's a baby mama or like maybe they have a brand new baby or something here. But then there's you out here. I feel like and this there could even be a, a third person that they just go to on the side. What is this? There could be a third person that this person goes to on the side, you know. Yeah, Leo, I don't know. What is this? Okay, and somebody feels like a fool. They want to change all of this around. I think they want to do it with you. 
Um, this person, I feel they're still in contact with this person on the side. They're still in contact with this empress here because I feel like they may have had a baby with them. They're sleeping with this queen of wands, or this queen of wands could have someone on the side as well. Take it how it resonates. It's kind of a mess, and but they're thinking about you, feeling foolish about you, I feel. Wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting to do whatever they can to change this, but I'm feeling some manipulation on here too. I feel like this person has too many people involved here. Yeah, in the month of December, it's kind of chaos, and here you are sort of out here alone working on your pentacles. That's what I'm feeling like, Leo. You're just kind of working on your pentacles, being in, in empress energy, right? Paying attention to your to your own stuff, your own business, staying in your own lane. This person's got too many people involved, and they're kind of like having to do like some kind of rearranging. That's what I'm seeing this guy like we're trying to arrange things. Yeah, I say stay out of it in the month of December. This person's got their hands full with two other women on the side. That's what I'm seeing here. They've got another Empress, and they've got a Queen of Wands. Yeah, that they're just in and out energy with, they just sleep with. Yeah. Okay, anyway, Leo, I don't know what that was about. I hope that resonates with you guys. Um, let's get into Aries. That was just a quick check for you, Leo. Huh? I don't know what to think of that. Okay, so... This one is for Aries. I already shuffled all of my decks, but Aries, Empress Energy here on the bottom of the deck. Oh, and someone's very passionate about you. Yeah, they may have other options, but they also see you as being the most abundant option out here. Someone who's out in the cold, destitute. Oh, this looks great, Aries. What the... <laughs> Yeah, they're looking at your abundance here. Um, well, you're also very good looking. You're very sexy. You're taking good care of yourself, high vibing. You've just got a beautiful energy about you, Aries. Very responsible, just taking care of your own stuff, paying attention to you. But this person's paying attention to you also, except that they're looking directly at all of your abundance here. You've got nine pentacles. The most you can have in a deck is ten, right? Empress status here, all the way. Um, so far, you got your fire signs, your empresses, right? That's good. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, um, they're very passionate about you. I feel like you're a complete and utter turn on for this person, but what's really turning them on? Because I see them being turned on by all of your abundance since they really don't have a pot to pee in right now whoever this is. This could be somebody who has a really poor health right now as well. This is bad health. This is being low on your pentacles, out in the cold, maybe even destitute. They could have lost a home. They could have lost a job all over a third party heartache. They, heartache and betrayal. I feel like this person betrayed themselves. This is somebody who really just they have a lot of options around them, but they try to look for the one who has the most abundance. And I really feel Aries like this person completely underestimated you. Now they can clearly see, you know, they underestimated you, covered you up with a blanket, and kind of walked away, chose someone else in a third party. And now it turns out that you flipped into an empress on this person. Now you're really super abundant, right? Super right and uh, now they're they're super heartbroken because <laughs> they feel betrayed out of a bunch of abundance right <laughs> who's rolling their eyes who who's rolling their eyes on that one yeah same here okay so what else can you show me here yeah I feel like you're just far too busy for this. <laughs> you know, this is somebody who works her butt off, right, um, to try to grow that abundance. Yeah, you're out here being happy. Um, 
I feel like you're fine. I feel like you're single. You're out here on your own, and you're okay with that. You're happy doing what you're doing. Um, moon in reverse. I feel like they're very unhappy about this, but um, I'm feeling like you're really not hiding the fact that you're doing quite well. Um, like you could be really kind of showing it off maybe a little bit. Um, maybe. I feel like also if there's anything hidden, it's coming out. You know? Yeah, this person, yeah, I feel like you're putting it out there. <laughs> you're like, you know what? I'm going to put it out there how happy I am. Yeah, I feel like they're seeing that. Whatever it is you're posting, Aries, or whatever you're putting out on social media, or whatever it may be, your person's seeing it. They're, they're studying you. Um, yeah, you're not hiding anything right now, I feel. You're showing it. Posting it, putting it on, you know, like you may be, you know, posting things online, that kind of thing, right? Yeah, now they're waiting for their ships to come in, right? Because they don't have anything. They don't have money like you do, okay? They don't have abundance like you do. This is somebody who chases it through other people. Whoever they chose, they feel betrayed. Maybe they thought they'd get abundance with them, but they get. It went totally opposite for this person, Aries. They are destitute, really low on their finances, like to poverty, poverty level, poverty level. So they're like, I know what I want, but now they have to wait. I feel like they're trying to figure out how they're going to get their pentacles up. Maybe they're going back to school. Maybe they're learning a new trade. They could be working on growing their pentacles. But I'm seeing them watching you, and you're totally not hiding the fact that you're awesome. <laughs> and they can see it too, okay? I feel like this person wants to come towards you. But for right now, they kind of have their back turned because you're doing better than they are. You're doing better than they are, and they kind of feel a little bit butt hurt. They feel butt hurt and betrayed over this now, because they didn't they didn't choose the right person, and um, you're the one holding the bag, right? Yeah, they could have had all of this with you. They could have had ultimate wish fulfillment. This person's kind of, you know, not wanting to show their face. Okay, very ashamed, not wanting to show their face. They may be hiding. Hiding out, maybe. Yeah, because they know with you, they could have had their their ultimate wish fulfillment kind of life. All right? Total comfort. But this is somebody who always, like, they wanted to try to find the most abundant person. You, they didn't think you were abundant enough. But that, that was your protection at the time. I feel like this person maybe could have used the crap out of you. I feel like wherever they went, they depleted it. You know, they just depleted it. Now this person wants to come back in and apologize. Could be dealing with an air sign. They're thinking very strategically, very strategically as to what they're going to say. But I really feel like this person's coming in to apologize. As feeble as it may seem. So be warned, because they are planning what they're going to say to you, okay? And this is somebody who just chased abundance, just so you know, Aries. Okay, so that was Aries. Let's do, um, what, um, wait, what are we, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Let's do Sagittarius. Sorry, Sagittarius. Kind of had a momentary lapse of reason there. I don't know. Um, all right, Sagittarius. What do we have for Sa Sagittarius on the bottom of the deck? Sagittarius on the bottom of the deck. Taking action, wanting things to change here. Wanting to walk away from someone. A possible Queen of Swords. I feel like things are about to change here. There's something hidden in the background. You're Someone here, either you, I feel like this is your energy, Sagittarius. I got to say, because this is your card. 
You, I may be talking to a Sagittarius male. I feel like you're looking back at someone else here, though, a temperance angel, somebody who may have, um, may have in the past been a soulmate connection. Maybe you guys have been disconnected. I feel like this person may have kept you kind of balanced because you're looking at the, the temperance angel here. Things are about to change. I feel like you, I feel like if I'm talking, to, I feel like I'm talking to a Sagittarius masculine. Um, you may be with the Queen of Swords. This could be somebody very, very cutting. This could be somebody who could be cold with their communication. It is an excellent communicator, though. Someone very intelligent could be an air sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, I feel like. Yeah, this is somebody that you may not like to communicate with. You just don't like to communicate with this person. They may be too um, Sagittarius masculines. I feel need a high degree of freedom. This person, this Queen of Swords, she doesn't put up with anything. Nothing. Nothing. Constantly wants the truth. Maybe is constantly asking you for the truth. I feel like you want things to change here with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, and this could have something to do with money as well. Okay? Um, but I think you're keeping something hidden here. Keeping something hidden um, that you want to walk away. You want to walk away from this Queen of Swords. You know, this you could be a Sagittarius dealing with another Sagittarius, so take it however it resonates with you. Yeah, you're trying to decide a path. I think if this is a masculine Sagittarius, I feel like you two are a couple, but for some reason you feel very separated here, maybe because of the way they communicate. It could be because you're looking at someone else. Who, who's balanced out or who is um, all of maybe helps you be balanced because you can do some impulsive things I feel and you're in the middle of trying to decide a path yeah between two people there's a home situation here and it's like you're sharing a home with I feel like it's this queen of swords but the memory of this temperance angel, I feel, it's almost like the memory of that person is still in the home. Or you just keep looking in this direction and thinking about this person. But you're also like playing house with this queen of swords who now can see that there's like a separate, there's a huge gap between you guys should be closer together if you're a couple, right? But look at all of this. It's because you're thinking about leaving someone, walking away, and choosing a different path. And this Queen of Swords, you know, um, this is a very intuitive, smart, very intelligent person. They want, it, they want the truth because they know that there's something, there's a distance. There's just a distance, only they don't know why because you're hiding it. They don't know why there's a distance. They just keep trying to talk. What's the problem? What's the problem? Meanwhile, in your head, you're watching someone else who's balanced or very healing, too, could be very healing, and wanting to go on a new path. Uh, do, you guys could be doing a lot of fighting with each other. There's a lot of manipulating because I feel like somebody here is very heavily burdened, maybe can't take much more of the fighting and the manipulation with words and like head games here is what I'm really seeing. I feel like there's someone here who's really burdened. I feel like it's, I think I'm talking to a Sagittarius masculine. Um, about to drop these burdens. This is the completion of a cycle here. I feel like somebody wants to choose a different path. Yes, that's the truth. It is a completion to a cycle. Somebody here may be 
drinking a lot, like drinking a lot. Maybe um, I feel like there's fights, there's manipulation, um, but then somebody goes out and like celebrates and it's almost like it's a fake celebration here. I don't know. Wish fulfillment. I feel like you want to maybe communicate the truth, cut something out here so you can choose the path that you want with the person that you want is what I'm feeling like. But I feel like there's a lot of um, drinking going on right now, like whoever this is, maybe overindulging, trying to kind of, I feel like it's pretend. I feel like they're pretending. I feel like they're kind of falling apart. Sorry about that, Sagittarius. My camera battery died. Um, I feel like... I feel like it's kind of like, you know what, I'm happy, I'm going to go out, I'm going to look happy, I'm going to go out, I'm going to act happy, I'm going to drink and buy rounds for everyone and act happy, um, even when they're not, they're not, I feel like, and I, you know, this person, it could be another fire sign, it could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, this is somebody who just wants to take action, you know, you could be a Sagittarius feminine energy. Either way, this person is looking back either at you or I'm talking to a masculine energy looking at someone else, okay? Possibly another Sagittarius. I hope that makes sense, guys. All right, so give me just a couple more for Sagittarius. But yeah, I feel like this person goes out and drinks, but it's like a fake facade you know um because they're not happy and uh there's a lot of fighting at home <laughs> they may spend a lot of time in the bar um yeah this is their justice i feel like um they could even be facing like a court case here Police could be involved for drinking and driving, I feel. They're drinking and driving. This person may go out and have just one too many, too many times. I feel like um, they may get picked up by uh, drinking and driving, having an open intoxicant in the car. That's sort of what I'm seeing like here. Queen of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be a feminine energy, maybe. Somebody who comes to maybe pick them up. Yeah, I feel like they, they could call someone else, but if it's you especially, they could call you to come and, come and help them, maybe bail them out because they know that you have love for them. But I feel like you're going to walk away from the situation. They're going to miss an opportunity here. Being impulsive. Drinking. I see somebody maybe getting um, pulled over here for drunk driving. I really do. Yeah. Anyway, listen, that's what I've got for you, Sagittarius. So fire signs. Um Leo Aries Sag, I, I do hope that these readings helped you. Um, I hope that um, you like these videos. If you like them, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel and help me grow, right, if you haven't already. And um, until next time, Leo Aries Sag, enjoy the rest of your December and uh, take care of you and peace out.